What's up, guys? Welcome to your App Store update for Thursday, July 18th. I'm Justin. I'm Mitch. Mitch Dyer. Yes. Uh, Mitch, we got some video games out we today. Do. I've been on a little vacation, and here's what I love about the App Store. I'm gone not that long, like a few days, and suddenly there's just the cavalcade of ridiculous App Store goodness. You chose unwisely in terms of timing. <laughs> Well, Never I mean, leave again. It doesn't matter when you leave. Like This is just how it is. It's true. So let's jump right in. All right. Kamikaze Pigs. I love the title. It comes Number from... One. Uh, oh, hey, Chilingo. Published by Chilingo, who generally publishes pretty good stuff. Um, thanks to Levi Buchanan. <laughs> um, did you Levi. ever play Every Extend Extra? I did. This is a little bit like that. So it's nonsense? But it's cartoony. Okay. And so the idea is you... Oh, God. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting an upgrade. Ugh. So um, you choose, like, what pig you want to start with, and then it chain reacts, like, we'll blow up that guy in the top, and then it oh. sets off a chain reaction that you're trying to, like, see if you can get rid of everybody. This is, like, every extent. But it's sort of cute, and, like, yeah. there's different... This stage is in the air, but I've played stages where they'll fall on tanks on the ground, and then those tanks shoot upward in the air, and so it's a little bit, you know, there's more shenanigans in an every extent. Okay. Let's do one more level. Do you feel it's skill-based, or is it fairly random? Like, every extent felt a little bit of both, and I never really understood which was... I mean, I would know, say it's fairly mean? random, but I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. Like, it's kind of cute and fun, and, you know, you just tap once, and then you see how much stuff yeah, you blew yeah. up. 99 cents, uh, Kamikaze Pigs. I'm actually digging it. Uh, you know, obviously it is very sort of casual and simple yeah. and cartoony. Also play Every Extend. It's awesome. Mm, it really is. Every What's Extend up? Extra Extreme. Yes. E4. So many E's. Uh, R-Type. Had uh, no idea this, this was coming to iOS. Yeah, neither did at I. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Professionals. Um, two bucks. If you're searching for this in the App Store, yeah, it is two bucks. It is universal. It's R period type. Oh, great. It will not come up if you search Wonderful. any other way. Um, the controls are kind of so-so, but Is this I don't a know. remake? Oh, yeah, this is no, nice. no, it's the same game. Here's what I realized. I was playing a little bit of the, a little bit of this this morning to like yeah. see how the controls were, and I'm like, this game holds up really well. Like this and Galaga are still like totally legit. Like I play, I play shooters that look way better, but I don't play many shooters that like play better. While you were out, uh, Cinemora <gasps> hit the App Store. And yeah. that's a that's a really good shooter as well. Yeah, it, it's also on sale on Steam for two fifty today. Uh, no, that's just its price. Oh, okay. So I'm going to buy that on the last day, though, just in case it gets mm. even cheaper. Yeah, good plan. So R-Type, I mean, I died instantly, so I didn't get a chance to sort of show what makes R-Type different than other shooters. But the short version is you get the options, and you can customize your ship. R-Type has always been amazing. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Boom. So now, uh, spot. support. Oh, snap. And then you can un unhinge it. Why would you ever hinge it? Whatever. I don't know. R-Type's so good. One ninety nine. Everybody should buy it. Um, what's going on here? It's awesome. It's Bounty Arms. This is from the people that did, uh... Ooh, I guess I better not say that for sure, because I'm not positive. No, it is from the people that made Bladeslinger. It's from Kerosene Games. Cool. Um, Bladeslinger was gorgeous, but again, had sort of iffy control issues, and this one seems to solve some of those problems. Excellent. I love no problems. Alexis Cosmobopolis. Cosmobopolis. <laughs> she did voice acting in, uh, their last game. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. So when this game gets a 10, <laughs> the people will know that we're in their pockets. They will know why. Uh, this is a little bit like uh, Ratchet and Clank, okay. or it's like a third-person platforming shooter deal. Obviously, you're playing as Goober. Don't even change. Don't. Don't what are even. you doing? I'm try trying to be Goober. Next. Missions. Look at him. He's awesome. So, again, very, very pretty game. The gameplay is like a little bit on the basic side. Yeah. Like you have a jump button and you have a shoot button. You know, and then you shoot stuff. You go through these 2D stages. It's like a platformer -y twin stick shooter going on? Here. Yeah. Where do I go? Oh, I go down here. I got it. Oh. <laughs> I love how they make the stages incredibly linear. Like, there's only one direction and you, you can go. And I still out. manage to get confused for a moment. There will be enemies at some point. I don't know why there's none right now. Okay, we're pet getting... Selector. Dude, yeah, pet too, system, robot pet. Do you just break your own robot, or was that an enemy? No, I was fly swatting an enemy. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's a little basic. Like, what I found is I can just mash the attack button and kill a lot of stuff before it even gets on screen. Got to tell you, not thrilled about this camera at all. Kind of a nightmare with all this jump. I was going to say garbage and junk in the same word. In the foreground? Yes. The stuff in the foreground is not thrilling. Um, this game's five bucks, which I think is a little much. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, as these games get more and more sophisticated, like, it doesn't look that different. Like, the camera reminds me of the LEGO Star Wars games. Sure. Those tend to have, like, more adaptability, though, and when they know something is in the way, they will move. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the best thing ever. 
I was impressed true. with this you game. You did not say those words. I've only played a couple levels, and I like it enough to keep playing. So, sure. you know, that's all I know for now. That works. What did I say that was called? Bounty Arms, four ninety nine. Starring Alexis you, Kazan, blah, blah. You, you want to know fight. what's embarrassing about Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded? A lot of things. Well, yes, but I was playing it this morning, and they have actually a legitimately, for all the game's complaints, or all the bad things about it, yeah. um, they have a clever way. They make you take a quiz to make sure you're over 21. <laughs> Great. And, like, I failed it, like, three times. <laughs> I like that they let you retake it. <laughs> Let's see. If we'll take the quiz right now. I don't even know if we're going to get into the actual all right. game. All right. We're in between 19 and 39. Definitely. Great. Now prove it. So okay. Rudy Giuliani used to be <laughs> obviously mayor of New York City. So yeah. that, that one I know. But like I got some of these wrong, and then it's like you're not 21. Which of these? Wow, this is hardcore. I don't know the pong. Like, well, yeah, pong came first. Um, All right. But like, I, I wish I your permanent record is never. Like, what does this mean? I mean, a fairy tale meant to frighten. I think children. it's like all of these, right? All right. Which of the deserts? Is that Las Vegas Casino. Oh boy. Um. So, uh, Oof, the the Sahara, Sahara is a casino. Okay, so these are easier than the ones that I got when I failed the so test. So these are not the same things. So what was Bruce Willis before uh, he became a star? He was a bartender. Yeah, I happen to know that he was a bartender, but someone could totally not yeah. know that. Also, like, why is that something anybody over 21 would know? I don't know. Your name is Larry. Um, so Ryan McCaffrey reviewed this. He wasn't wild about it. it at all. So it's a remake of the old game, so it's got new graphics and stuff, but a lot of the puzzles are the same. Um, and the issue is that the puzzles are really, you know, confusing and complicated. Ryan McCaffrey's going to join you for the episode. Hey. Oh, no, Leisure Suit Larry. So no, I thought I was done with you. So what's what was the problem with this in literally 30 seconds, McCaffrey? Uh, it's It just... The... the Visual update the 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 new coat of paint's nice, but the game design doesn't hold up. There's just it. You can just fail this game over and over, and it's it's built off of some really weird uh, puzzle foundations. Yeah, it's like the things that you used to be able to get away with in point and click adventure games, like you know failure states and things like that. Really complicated, yeah. confusing puzzles. To like get that just anywhere, you need money for the cab rides, but the only way to get money is to gamble, and so you but. You can just gamble all your money away because it's, a, as you see right there, what you're doing right now, it's a random slot machine. Uh -huh. So if you run out of money, you have to wander outside until the hobo comes by and takes pity on you and gives you $10 to start gambling with again. So you just have to save and load over and over and build up your money. That's sort of one of my core problems with the game. And then a lot of the puzzles have very archaic and weird solutions. Sounds really fun. <laughs> well, thanks, McCaffrey. I like the humor, though. Yeah. Humor holds up. Sure. Still like the Leisure Suit Larry humor. So maybe, you know, if you want the remake, get a fac or a guide and sort of fac your way through it to get some of the jokes. But, um, you know, this otherwise isn't going to stand up. How much is this on iPad? Uh, four ninety nine. Okay. Well, that's a lot less than the, uh, I think it was 10 or 20 on on uh, PC. So yeah. that's definitely a much easier price to swallow. But still still don't think uh, it's that it, it holds up that well. Yep. Later Leisure Suit Larrys are much better. Yep. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan McCaffrey. Um, what else we got today? Oh, man. So many video games. God. Soul, Soul Savior might have the worst image I've ever seen. You don't like that guy? <laughs> no. He looks like a surfer dude that's like hanging out on a beach in Hawaii. Also, he's got feather hair. He looks like... Do you remember Azuric? <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Yes, I do remember that. Um... I'm going to tell you, or let me pause and see if I can tell you this. What caught, it said runner-up of the Square Enix Latin American Game Contest 2012. I didn't know that was I'm like, event. I don't know. Right on. Means. So this is tilt controlled. You're tilting around. Wait, is it a shooter or a runner or both? It's a runner. Okay. So it's from the perspective of a shooter, you're trying to pick up these souls and you're trying to avoid the obstacles. And occasionally you like go into offense mode, like you get powered up and then you need to sort of run into enemies. I want but to tell uh, you right now, before we get any further, I have an irrational dislike of this game. Why? I don't know the think guy. I like the character. It's irrational. No, no, no. I just none of this looks interesting to me whatsoever. The art, um, the gameplay, what you're doing, like what, ugh, whatever. So you run into stuff and then you die. Let me run into one more thing. Bah, and you die. It's 99 cents. It's a little tilt controlled auto runner. Eh. This is Fly Row. Which I didn't know. I'm like, hmm. Not, mm. not a great title. However, I'm a big fan of this bird. So here's what I like about this is it's a very sort of simple, you drag your finger around yeah. to move, and then when you're holding your finger down, you're a normal bird, and then when you let go, you're the fire bird. So can you just go through the whole thing as the fire bird and just be invincible forever? No, I mean, you still can't touch, uh, like, the... Like, you need to be the fire bird to go through the... Oh, but you can't hit bombs and stuff. Right. 
and then you get power ups. And so what I like about that is that right. simple one touch control scheme. Like it's basically like Soul Savior, it, uh, yeah, but like, more fun. But with like, like an Ikaruga kind of twist, where it's there's another mechanic, there's a like, bit of binary uh, mechanics there to, to make you change your state. Yeah, I like I like, like the super simple let go like oh, uh. but it's still not much. But I just mean like yeah. it's got an interesting thing going on. Fly row. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. Breach and clear. This I game. love, 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 love tactical shooters, mm -hmm. and this is I like tactics games quite a bit. Just bringing those hands together. So this is from gun. Uh, from gun, gun period. This is on sale right now for one ninety nine. It's going to be more later. Um, it's a universal app. It's a tactical shooter with a team of four. Okay. Here's what I think is weird about this. Um, we're going to get into the gameplay in a sec. All right. But. It takes itself so seriously. It's super like, military you, drama. You hear the sad military horns <laughs> yeah, playing yeah. right now. And, like, you, I had to choose, like, I had to choose, do I want to be, like, Delta Rangers or Navy SEALs yep. or this? And, like, I couldn't really tell, like, any difference between them. Like, right. There's, like, the Canadian JTF. Yeah, there they are. My boys. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's really funny. Is that who we should be? Yeah, let's be the Canadians. Um, you can customize your loadout to, like, a truly ridiculous oh degree. Like, Which helmet do you want? I bet all of those are licensed. Yeah, but they all have trade-offs, right? So they give you more health, health but they lower your mobility. The helmet doesn't make any noise. <laughs> <laughs> like which ammo you want, or not ammo, camo. camo. Jeez, how do words work? You tried. Um, you can customize each of your weapons. Let me see if I can show that real quick, and then we'll get into the actual game. All right. So it's like the day one gold uh, M4. because you bought it day one. But you can also, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm in the right spot, but like each one has like all these attachments. That, yeah, like oh look at this. Oh, my God. Like it's ridiculous yeah. the amount of options that you have. But then I don't know that the actual gameplay like really supports it. Okay. Um, Let's find out. I do like it. Like, I don't want to be too negative about this game. Like, I am enjoying it. I want to keep playing it. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know that it's, like, the game of the year sort of sure. deal that some people sort of thought and hoped it would be. It's not like this earth-shattering tactics game or anything? Nope. All right, so let's jump into an actual mission. This one might, might actually be simpler. It had fewer stars. <laughs> no, that was how many stars I earned on it. Oh, so okay. you choose what door you want to breach first. Oof. So um, the one. Yeah, like we'll put Clay and Collins at C, we'll put Cameron at A, and we'll put O'Donnell at B. Sure. Sure. That works. <laughs> this is me. My tactical expertise okay, is whatever. really going to show yeah, off. Yeah, that'll work. So, uh, you probably um, should have had two dudes at that door, but whatever. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, the <laughs> camera controls are super simple, so it's sort of pinch and zoom, you know, really responsive, really smooth, you know, compared to a lot of games. Yeah. Um, they're not actually showing you Fog of War, it's not like everything's dark that you can't see. Right. But there are there enemies. Are yeah, there are enemies in the spots that you don't see. It's till, all based on line of sight. So, yeah. once you kick that door in and p jump through, you're going to see whatever you can see. That's exactly right. So once you have somebody selected, this we have O'Donnell selected, you select him over there on the left. Then it's like you double tap to set, right. to set a movement uh, uh, sort of waypoint for them yep. to move to. And here's what I like about this is um, you can have them moving one direction but looking another direction. So it's like maybe, and so the game's uh, slogan is, what is it, own every angle or cover every angle or whatever yeah. it is. So it's like, okay, I'm going to have him looking to the right or to the left rather. But then I want him so bad at directions today. Yeah, then I want him moving over here. Oh, cool. And so it's okay. like he'll be looking one direction, so but he's moving cut another across direction. Aiming in another direction. Exactly. And then it'll show him he's cool. gonna. And then you can have him like, where do I want him moving? But then I want him facing like forward once he gets here, for example. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that's his yeah. controls. Very, and very frozen synapse. All these, yeah, it is a little bit like frozen synapse actually. And so we'll have this guy moving over here, so he's well. Yeah, moving here. And then we'll have him... He's in nice cover there. Yeah, we'll have him pointing this way. So he's, like, sort of moving to the back of the room. And then he's... Well, okay, what should we have this guy do, Mitch? Um, <sighs> have him storm in. Yeah, he just should probably just take... Out. He should probably just take cover right there. Yeah, okay. That too. And then we'll have him facing this way and hope yeah. there's nobody... Like, this well, is what... You can have your second guy come through behind him and face yes, play behind that desk. Right? Oh, yeah, you're right. So we can just have the other guy just sort of bust in over here. And then we'll have them facing forward. Yeah. So that's the way that I. Well, we'll do one more turn. And so then you breach, and then everything happens in sort of real time, and bah. you see where the enemies are. All right. So they all they all stopped terrorism. Um, you do have stats. It's a little bit RPG like. Like, uh, it's not just an automatic kill if you right. see a terrorist. Like they have a reaction the time, roll. and they have yeah. It's a little bit of a die roll. And then as you level up your characters, you choose what to put their stats in. 
So, for example, now we know there's a terrorist here. And he absolutely knows you're here on account of the gunfire. Yeah, so it's like I could just have him stay put. You can hang out, put, for sure, yeah. But He'll come around the corner and get popped. Nah, so we'll go here. You're brave. And then, so here's what I like to do. I like to set my final waypoint. Like, this is where I want him to end up. Yeah. And then in between there, you can say, like, Change okay. Change direction you're looking. Yeah, like, I'm going to have you face this way, and now I'm going to have you face this way. Like, just in case there's right. someone to the right or left. And so now let's not move our other guys. Let's watch him. I want to see how this goes. Yes, exactly. So we'll say them. They're just all going to stay put. Um, right. Normally I would have them move. Is every turn breach? You've already breached. Yeah. There's no more breaching to be had. Breach. Roger. Moving. He's just looking in all the directions. Yeah. So, But now we know there's nobody there, right? Yeah. So it's like normally, again, we would have set turns for all of these guys. That terrorist is watching that door because he heard st stuff go down. So you can actually just sneak up behind him and... Right, so oh, cover there. So we'll double click here, and then have him face this way, and just pop that guy. Yes, sir. And again, this is a pretty Surprise. early. Bye -bye. Oh! Nice. Uh, you get star ratings based on how, like, this game has a lot of replay value, um, in the sense that you know, getting through a mission without anybody being injured or right. doing it, you know, in the fewest number of turns. Okay. They also have difficulties, like we were playing on the beginner difficulty, and you'll need to go back mm. and play it on a higher difficulty. It's an impressive game. It's a game for core gamers on mobile. Um, I like it. I want yeah, it. Yeah, I like it too. I sort of dislike, like, I got three stars, not four on this mission because, like, I saw an enemy at the exact same time he saw me uh -huh. and he popped me. And it's like, well, when I go back, I'll leveled up, I'll be able to get four stars. Sure. So it's a little bit grindy in that sense. Yeah. That's all right, though. Breach and clear. Breach and clear. I like it. Uh, that's it for today. We'll do, we'll save Futuridium and uh, Pel <laughs> Peloponnes. Peloponnes for Pelopon tomorrow. There are some price drops. Okay. Uh, Mitch, you don't do a got? lot of App Store updates, so maybe you don't know. But since Thursday is the big game debut day, it is. we don't actually hop into the price drops because mm. we got too many games to go it's over. too many. However, are there exceptions this uh, week? Prince of Persia Retro is free. Oh, awesome. That's not Prince of Persia Classic, right? Um, It is. Is it? The 3D remake, or is this the 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 old school, like the old like what? Because like, there were two different ones. There's one that is straight up the super old version. It's the super old version. Okay, not classic. Both of them are very good. Let me double check that I am not telling lies right now, but I'm almost sure. Yeah, it's that the, is indeed it, the super old version. Yeah, it's the old version. Okay. And uh, uh, cut the rope HD is half off if awesome. anybody doesn't own that yet. And finally, there's an auto runner that we covered on the App Store update once called Dream Chaser that's free. Cool. Uh, so yeah, Mitch, thanks for joining me. Yeah. Everyone at home, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember, we're always, now that I'm back in the office, yeah. I, won't, I won't leave you again, by the way. Never. I know people, if anybody was holding their breath waiting for me to come back, they're dead. I want to go on vacation now. Um, yeah, go to Oregon. It's gorgeous up there. Okay. Uh, everybody at home, remember, we're always spotlighting the newest, hottest things happening in the App Store now that I am back. So make sure you're keeping it locked to IGN.com slash wireless.